So here you need to draw two lines here. So with respect to vertical, you need to draw 30 degree line, 45 degree line. Okay. You are going to get some reference points. So at this reference points, you need to draw the cylindrical, uh, that is what circular uh, elongated uh, hole. Okay. For both. For both, you need to draw the circular elongated hole. So once you've done, so then you go for uh, the circle here. You draw and circle. In such a way that you need to go for constraints here. It will show the constraints. So that means this circle has to be tangential to this one as well as this one. Okay. Then you go for a corner here with no trim option. You are going to get here. Shall I try or you can carry out yourself? Whether you need this diagram, you say yes or no in chat box. Okay. So hardly take it will take uh, hardly uh, eight to ten minutes. Okay. So let us try. So start mechanical design, part design, okay. Sketch, front view, okay. So now I'll go for uh, drawing lines. So now the pitch circle radius, how much you're going to get? This is 20, outer is 20, 20 minus, uh, sorry, 94 minus 20, we're going to get a 74 here, okay? Circle, okay. You need to draw two circles here. One is radius 74, another one is uh, radius is a 22, two piece circle diameters, okay? Seventy four is one, okay. And the one is twenty two. Okay. okay. So now let us go for drawing reference lines here. Okay. So one is an angle of thirty degree. I'll provide here three hundred. Okay. Go for any length. Again, you go for line. Okay. Now, angle has to be, it is a two. Now, you need to draw this line here. Okay, angle is 45. So, 270 minus 45. Okay. 270 minus 45. Right? Okay. Now reference lines as well as the outer portions have been fixed. Let us try. Okay. So where is operation? So we'll select here. Okay. Trim. I'll trim this portion and this portion. Now I'll first complete this one. Okay. I'll complete this one. Okay. So here. Uh, diameter 61 is there, another one is diameter 28 is there. I will draw two circles here. Now these two circles are of a continuous line, not on a construction. Okay. So radius is 30. Okay. I will draw inner circle. Inner circle. It has an, uh, a diameter of 28 mm. Diameter 28 means radius is 14. Okay. Right. So now how many holes you have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So let us go for hole. Okay. It's a circle. So now diameter of uh, 
each circle is 8 8 mm here now we will pick here a quadrant point okay radius is 4 okay. now what i'll do i'll go for uh, the rotate command here okay i will select this one okay i'll make this a center point now i need five objects additional five objects interval is 60 degree okay right next i'll try the elongated hole here okay now this is the first point sorry radius and start point here center point okay this is the first point and here you got a pcd okay i'll just uh, click here now if you provide only the radius okay now i'll go for outer radius it has to be a 20 inner radius is a 10 now we go for first 10 here. Okay. Now similarly, I will go for uh, again here. I'll make a center point. I'll go for this circle. Okay. And this is the end point. Okay. Now I'll place here. Okay. I'll go for uh, the dimensions. Okay. Now this radius has to be how much? It has to be 20. Okay. Right. Now coming to the drawing this uh, circle here, okay. I think radius they have given it as 82, okay. before that one what I will do, I will go for corner, okay, corner, we need to go for no trim options here. Okay. No trim. Okay. Now I'll pick one object, second object. So now what is the radius? A radius has to be 25. You just use tab key to make a fixation. Now I'll go for circle here. Okay. Now I'll draw somewhere. Okay. Now what it has radius? It has radius is 82. Tab go for 82 now it is far away from uh, the contact here okay now let us go for constraints here let us go for constraints okay it is dimension constraints Wait, 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 constraints. Okay, we select this one and this one. Wait, constraint toolbar. So, by using constraints, you just make it as a tangent. That is a thing, okay. Let us wait. Right. Now select this one and this one, okay. Auto constraints is not taking. You select this uh, circle, then you click on this uh, 
constraints defined in dialog box okay. then you select this one okay okay it's not giving you better select both okay then you click here you have a tangency okay right say so okay now again select this circle and this r click on this tangency oh sorry okay then you say tangency okay now go for trim go for trim go for trim okay just double click then trim out unwanted portion okay now this is the diagram now we can place dimensions we can place dimensions Here, yeah. okay. I have a doubt. to get the constraints you must click on uh, geometry then the constraints dialog box is going to be highlighted okay otherwise uh, it's not going to be highlighted clear have any queries shall i go for next one okay uh next diagram is an uh, simple diagram so if i gone for that one uh, i think almost all options are going to be completed in uh, sketcher for drawing purpose okay now this is one component okay so it has a certain dimensions and it has an hole also it has a hole also now you need to draw an ellipse here now this is what ellipse rx means it is an uh, major axis semi major axis ry means semi minor axis right rx means it is a radius r means radius in x direction it is a 70 okay this function Hello. Wait, Hello. Hello. So R means radius in y direction. That is what 30. That means this radius is has to be 30. This radius has to be 70. So you have to draw this one by using ellipse option. Now let us start here. This is what the first point. Okay. Now this is second point. This is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and you can go by point wise method. Now, if you're perfect uh, with the editing commands, that is what offset, trim, as well as the translate, uh, you can go for directly commands. Now, in this case, what I'll do, I will go for uh, drawing and rectangle and uh, uh, trimming out the unwanted portions. Okay using offset command then i'll go for uh, the ellipse then i'll go for upper semicircular uh, portion as well as this elongated hole okay. start mechanical design part design okay I'll sketch it select here front okay now we'll go for rectangle here okay so it is how much 260 by 170 sorry 260 by 140 
Now you can maintain symmetry here. If you want to maintain symmetry, you just uh, provide the value. Okay. So horizontal minus uh, 130 okay? minus uh, something. You got a corner point now. Then you provide length. Length is 260. Height is 1. You got uh, symmetry over the center point, right? This is what uh, origin. This is what origin, horizontal direction, that is what x direction, vertical direction, that is what uh, y direction, right? So you got an uh, outer frame. Now look out, center point is how much? 100, it is exactly model 260. Now to get this shape as well as this shape, I am going to use the offset command, then I will go for uh, the translate command. Okay. I will go for offset okay. and you can go for mirror command here because it is exactly symmetry on right hand side. Okay. If you draw this one, it is what on left hand side. Or instead of mirror, you can go for uh, the translate command here. That is what a translate uh, option. Let us see. I will go for construction. Okay. With respect to origin, I will draw one line here. Okay. Next, I'll go for offset. I'll select this line. Okay. Now how much distance I want to offset? I want to offset it for center position. That is what 100. Use tab. Offset distance as 100. Okay. Now you got a center point to draw an ellipse. Let us first uh, complete this function. Now as it is a symmetry, it is about how much? 40. Okay. 30 and 60. Okay, I'll go for offset. Okay, I'll select this line. Now distance is minus 60 because I want to draw on left hand side. Now I'll select this one, double click. Now what is the height here? Height has to be 30. Next, again, if you look out, this width is how much? This width is also 30. Thirty minus 30, because you want to place it on left hand side. Okay. There is come on right hand side. Select it, delete, okay. Offset, select 30, right? What I'll do, I'll go for trimming this portion. Now I will select these construction lines and convert them as a normal lines okay. right now go for mirror here okay mirror now select these uh, lines hold control key sorry so hold control key okay to select multiple object First you select object, then you go for click on mirror, okay. Then you provide axis. Then go for trimming unwanted portion. Okay. Okay. 
So next we will go for ellipse here. Okay, ellipse. So first you define a center point. Okay, then it is asking a major axis. How much it is seventy? Major radius it is seventy. Okay, minor radius it is thirty. Go for orientation. Okay. Now how much portion is covered? Up to this much portion is covered. Okay. Now at a distance of one seventy, you need to draw circles here. One, two, three. You can draw a circle, or you can go for a. Uh, you can draw only one circle. You can draw this one as a cylindrical elongated pole. Okay. Or uh, okay, elongated pole. Now we need to get first center point here. Now how much distance from base it is one seventy? Offset. Okay. Select this one. Distance is how much? One seventy. You got? You select it. Okay. Make it as a construction. Go for normal trim. Select this end. You place up to this position, okay. Click on trim, select this end, and you place it up to this position. Now you go for circle, snap here. What is the radius? Radius is 80. You snap, you just click on 80. Now go for trim because this portion is not needed, this portion is not needed. Directly, you can delete no problem. We can delete the remaining portions. Now, from quadrant point, <clears throat> you need to drop down two vertical lines here. Okay. Take a line, okay, from this quadrant point to drop a line. Okay. This is the drop, okay. <clears throat> now, trim out unwanted portion. Next, you need to draw this four. You now, radius is uh, ten here. And then the distance is 100, that means you can draw with a radius of 50 here. With a radius of 50. Let us go for uh, the perforated hole here. Okay. So fix first center point. Okay. Then you provide radius, it is a 50. Okay. Then make a start point, then end point. Happened. You place it, then you provide the dimensions. Yes, it's what ten. Okay. Now this is a final figure. Can you this sort of pad? Okay. Right. I think you got how to use the ellipse option, okay, as well as mirror option. So you have any queries? about this uh, ellipse command
you can extend line as well as curve also okay so you just use the trim option so trim with corner is there you just pick the end point and drag up to the length how much you need it okay. no problem you can ex uh, extend arc also Okay, tomorrow we'll go for uh, part modeling. Okay, we'll start part modeling. So part modeling has an uh, a lot of options. So we'll study one by one. Okay. If you have any uh, doubt uh, or query over this uh, sketcher, you can just ask tomorrow. Shall I close? Okay.